uh, good afternoon my YouTube viewers. It is Crystal here. I'm just here this afternoon because I wanted to do a code review because, uh, you know, obviously I'm studying statistics and I found out that you can use stats models to do a hypothesis test on a data set. And so I researched it and I tried it out and I wrote a program and I wanted to do a code review on this program so you can see how to do it. So the first thing that we did was we wrote this program using Google CoCab. And the first thing we did was to import the libraries. So we're importing stats models, pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and seaborn. So stats models is your statistical library and you can perform statistical functions using stat models. Pandas is your library that allows you to create data frames. NumPy is your library that allows you to do mathematical calculations. And Matplotlib and Seaborn are um, graphics, graphics libraries. So the first thing we did was I thought, well, I'd try California house prices because California house prices is in Google Colab because we're using Google Colab to do this hypothesis test. So um, I loaded the data sets and then I combined the data sets. I, combined, I appended test to train and made one data set called Combi. Uh, define the target and so there you can see there's your target and those are your house prices with California house prices and then so your target equals combi median house value and then what I did was I dropped the target from the data set combi equals combi dot drop medium house value axis equals one and you can see the target has been removed from the data set and now we define our x and our y value variables. y is the target, x is combi. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use linear regression to actually perform a hypothesis test on this data set. So we're going to use stats models linear regression. So xlm equals sm dot add constant x lm equals sm dot ols y xlm fit so you fitting the data to the model and then it says print lm summary so so we printed the summary and so you can see this is your ols regression results and what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at p here but what I found out is everything is zero. And because everything is zero, it didn't give me anything substantial to look at. So I was just wor worried that this wasn't a good data set to use because the p value is zero. So, in that respect, what I decided to do was I decided to try another house price, another set of house prices that maybe would give me a better reading. So I used Boston house prices in SKLearn, but the Boston house prices have been deprecated because it has ethical considerations, but I decided to go ahead and use it anyway. So these are all Boston house prices from SKLearn. And then what I did was I analyzed the y variable because your y variable is your target. And then I used the linear regression model on your Boston house prices. And whenever I use the linear regression house model on the Boston house prices, you can see that I got varying p-values. And what we're going to look for is the p-value of greater than 0 0.05. If it's greater than 0 0.05, then it means it's not really significant and it can be removed from the data set. So what we found here was x3 is 0 0.738. 
and x7 is 0.958. So those two columns or features can be removed from the data set and um, I don't know if they will improve the accuracy. We would have to do another test to see if they would improve the accuracy if we removed those two columns. But for we didn't, that wasn't the purpose of this particular code review. The purpose of this particular code review was to do a hypothesis test. But I suppose if I want to, I can go back and remove columns X3 and X7 and see if the accuracy is improved when I do that. So that'll be another good thing for me to do just to test this hypothesis test to see if it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this code review and maybe tomorrow I'll check Boston house prices and remove the X3 and X7 and see what happens. See if the um, accuracy improves when they're removed. So that'll be a good thing to do. So thank you so much for watching this video. You know, obviously I've been ill. I'm recovering from um, a life-threatening illness. And so I just want to thank all of my subscribers for supporting my channel. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And I look forward to making more videos for you in the future. Thank you.